The following is a pre-recorded paid political announcement. This is what poverty looks like. This is what prosperity sounds like. Well, I like to live in the country, but near enough to the city so I could get some of the pleasures, like uh, going to the movies and seeing the arts and all that. This summer we're going camping, and uh, in the month of July, this summer I'm going, for the whole month of July, this summer I'm going to uh, go to Brownie Sleepaway Camp. It's all girls. The jet flight was, was actually very terrific. Um, they gave hors d'oeuvres and uh, they served dinner, which was the following. Uh, southern fried chicken, peas, candy yams, and for dessert there was cheesecake. And I had two glasses of milk. Well, Encyclopedia is a series of books that uh, tells about, that tells things. We have one in our house. We always keep an encyclopedia so we can find out things that we don't know. We're leaving for camp this Monday, and after camp is over, we're driving to the World's Fair for a few days, and we're going to stay in a hotel. And I mowed my father's lawn yesterday. Guess how many mowers we have? Two. Two mowers. When you crank up, when you, um, you know, pull it out like that and it starts. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tommy. Happy birthday to you. This administration today, here and now, declares unconditional war on poverty in America. The march of progress in America has left 30 million hungry, aimless, forgotten refugees in its wake. It is not a program of giveaway. It is not a program of doles. It is a program that's concerned with skills and opportunities, with giving the tools for the job of growth. We're not trying to give people more relief. We want to give people more opportunity. And that is what the people want. They want education and training. They want a job and a wage which will let them provide for their family. Above all, they want their children to escape the poverty which has afflicted them. They want, in short, to be part of a great nation. And that nation will never be great until all are a part of it. We will not win our war against poverty until the conscience of the entire nation is aroused. We will not succeed until every citizen regards the suffering of neighbors as a call to action. Vote for President Johnson on November 3rd. The stakes are too high for you to stay home.